Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that uh, they had to wait. We keep on uh, we've been having uh, some real some real progress. Some of you may have noticed there's been uh, additional power going on um, at the north end of Hoboken, uh, the, the eastern side of Hoboken. Uh, I still don't have all the information as far as what locations, uh, you know, what how many residents just received power, but uh, I've been pushing hard for this, guys. Pushing really, really hard. Um, Bill Bryan's here with me from uh, the Department of Energy, and you know he made the, I don't know if it was a mistake or not, but he gave me his personal cell phone number. I've been, I've been taking advantage of that, calling him quite a bit. And uh, so I want to thank the incredible teamwork of uh, PSE&G, President Obama, Governor Christie. Um, President Obama's making sure to bring in the additional resources that we need. I am told that this is the first time in history where the power administrations are working together. We've got more teams coming in from uh, Southern Power Administration, Western Area Power Administration, and Desert Southwest Region. So, still working extremely hard. <laughs> On many fronts. Uh, and we want to thank FEMA so much. So we've been, you know, working to make sure we get the we get the lights, we get the the battery trailers, everything that PSE and G needed to uh, to bring in the resources to be working through the night. So I invite you to stop by the substations. We're trying to make sure to bring them food and coffee, but you know, <laughs> just uh, uh, you know, we're trying to make sure to uh, to get them uh, the resources that they need as they continue 24/7 working on our substations. Also want to thank Mayor Ganelli. He sent in uh, resources so that we could make sure to have all the lighting that we needed last night. So we still have um, two substations. Again, that were uh, the Hoboken substation, that's the northernmost substation, uh, is probably three quarters online. They're still working hard, as I said, par those parallel tracks of repairing it and finding those, we are finding those needles in the haystack thanks to, uh, again, it's PSCNG, it's, it's uh, the um, President Obama's team and with, with FEMA and, and working through the industry to find uh, the equipment that we need, uh, but also bringing in the resources, the expertise to uh, repair as much as possible and working as fast and furiously as we can. We know it's, it's getting colder tonight, so concerned about our seniors and making sure that uh, they're going to be safe tonight, so there's there's a couple of other things that I, I want to tell you that, that uh, is happening right now. Um, just uh, a while ago, I sat down uh, with city council members um, to, I met with uh, council members Cunningham, council president Cunningham, councilman Mello, councilman Acapente, councilman Doyle, councilman Russo, and councilwoman Giatino to identify top priority buildings. So what we are doing as a, as a backup measure uh, thanks again to the support of FEMA and, and President Obama and, and Governor Christie. We are on 25 generators, um, high power generators are on their way as we speak uh, to Hoboken. And uh, the priority will be uh, putting those generators in the housing authority. Our, obviously our police and fire department, let's give them a huge hand, they're doing a great job. And, and Services as well, working with our team to make sure we get the team resources out, get our city cleaned up. So the priority for those 25 generators that are coming will be the high-rise buildings uh, with seniors, and uh, we also want to make sure that people can get food, and, and uh, so we'll be powering up the A and P um, as well. And um, so I know Shoprite is, is uh, has experienced some severe flooding, so we'll be uh, making sure that the A and P can be open full service. Um, so that is, that is happening as we speak, and I am glad to say that we're, you know, like Greenview was, was on that list, and now that I've heard that they, they just got powered up minutes ago, so uh, we'll be deciding, uh, you know, where those other locations go. Um, we are trying to, you know, reaching out, uh, I'm going to be talking with the governor in, uh, in just a few minutes, um, you know, asking for assistance with bringing in more electricians to Hoboken. Um, I want to make sure that everyone understands. First and foremost, it's important that everyone get registered with the FEMA relief. And as actually FEMA, people are going to be coming around handing these out. We'll, we'll make sure that they're over at the PSENG site and, and here. You need to apply. Either go online, uh, you know, or call in, go to a friend's house, go to the PSENG conference center. But it is so important that you take that first step and get registered. 
and then you know, I make sure to document all of the damage that has occurred. And I was on a conference call, and I spoke directly to President Obama this morning, and he emphasized that that is the first step that has to happen, and he, I'm going to do what he did. The, he read the number, 800-621-FEMA, 800-621-3362. He told us that $85 million, uh, resi $85 million has already gone into direct deposit uh, for people who need that assistance. So that is the first step that everyone needs to know, our, our residents and our local businesses, and we want to help you as much as we can, and we need you to take that step and get registered and start that recovery process. So again, I, I can't thank uh, FEMA and, and President Obama and Governor Christie enough for everything that they're, they're doing. Um, last night was amazing. I mean, we, I want to thank again our uh, community emergency response team and everyone who's coming out to volunteer. Last night I went over to Hoboken High School and it was incredible to see what was happening. I mean, thanks to uh, the FEMA team, we had 60,000 meals delivered and uh, we put out a call on Twitter and Facebook. Um, we didn't know quite when the trucks were going to arrive and we had over 100 volunteers show up within a half an hour at Hoboken High School and it was just a line of people. So these are the volunteers behind me. Let's give them a huge round of applause. So I also want to thank, thank again uh, chef, the chef for Brad Paisley. He's been working hard and I uh, encourage people who, you know, you want a hot meal over at Church Square Park. I understand, he, I saw him last night. He provided, uh, he did a 750 uh, egg and uh, sausage for, um, sandwiches yesterday, so he's, he's working hard. So I'm great, I'm so pleased that people, um, you know, are, we, we locate, we're trying to locate it around different areas, pleased that people from Church Towers were able to uh, to get over and, and take advantage of that. And he will be with us until, he told me he will, he will be here uh, through this through this process. Also had residents from uh, Augusta, Georgia, they, they drove up to deliver six generators and chainsaws and other supplies, so we're, we're getting incredible support. So we really, really appreciate that. Um, again, I want to emphasize, as far as the recovery, focus on the, the fever relief and getting yourselves registered, going online and doing that. We are also, I want to announce that we are starting a relief fund to help our community. Rebuild Hoboken Relief Fund, and checks can be sent to the Rebuilken, Rebuild Hoboken Relief Fund, care of the Hoboken Rotary Foundation, and uh, we're building a web website, rebuildhoboken.org, and uh, you can check there for details. I mean, I'm, sadly, the city of Hoboken, is, as well as residents, I mean, we've, we've lost so much. We, we have three fire stations uh, that were severely damaged. Everyone knows about our hospital, our municipal garage, um, so, and our uh, community center, the, uh, uh, the multi-service center has been severely damaged as well. So we're and uh, uh, we've had damage to our, our parks, but we're going to be we're going to rebuild Hoboken. We are definitely going to rebuild. So we've got we're getting incredible, incredible support. I want to talk briefly. I know there's there's been some concern about security, and, and I want to give a huge thank you again uh, to our police department. They've been working 24/7. And with all of our traffic signals down and, and uh, all, the, all of the needs that we've had, uh, it's been a challenge. So I uh, just want to let you know that FEMA is, is bringing some security to assist us with our, what we're calling our, our pod distribution system. So we are going to continue that process of, we've set up six distribution locations um, throughout the city. So the National Guard is helping us to get those supplies to uh, the pod distribution centers and then volunteers are taking them and making sure that we get them distributed to those in need. So the locations are 76 Bloomfield, 1st and Jackson, 220 Adams, which I guess may need to change because I think they just got powered up, so we'll have to figure that out. Uh, 5th and Park, 9th and Jefferson, and uh, Fox Hill, 13th and Willow. So we're, you know, until we have all of our power restored, uh, we, we we continue to really need uh, volunteers to help make sure that we're able to get to our seniors who are, are, are most in need at this time, especially on those higher level floors. I want to thank um, our city employees, so many who have been coming in, again, our police, our fire, OEM, uh, environmental services, uh, HPU, working so incredibly hard to, uh, to get our city back, on, back operating and um, City Hall will be opening on Monday, so I want to make sure that, that everyone is aware of that. I know that there's um, 
concern, but you know we're working as hard as we can, uh, you know, with the trash and, and doing the pickup. Um, so we ask that those, um, you know, will follow the regular schedule for trash pickup. But um, obviously, those who have um, damaged, you know, they've had flood damage. Please put those things out. But we ask that those, if you don't really need to have those large items removed at this time, we ask you to hold off because we're, you know, it's, it's a challenge for us to get all of those pickups happening. And we're actually coordinating with FEMA to uh, to get some assistance to look at, um, you know, how to how to make sure to get to deal with the, you know, the the oil that's on the streets and, and we know that's in people's backyards and, and so we're, we're working to bring in the resources to uh, do an assessment of, of, of what we're going to need to make sure that we completely clean, uh, clean our city up. Um, I do want to remind everyone the election is on for Tuesday, November 6th. Uh, it is going to be at the usual polling locations. Uh, paper ballots can be uh, cast early at the county clerk's office during the weekend or Monday. The hours vary slightly, but they're open um, every day uh, from 8.30 to 4.30. Uh, the medical center, HUMC, is open from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. as an urgent care center. CVS is open, Walgreens is open, Rite Aid is open. Um, and the water is safe to drink. want to make sure everyone uh, understands that. We've got free ices available at the PSEG comfort station. And uh, we have some new numbers for our emergency operations center. We know there's there's a lot of uh, questions, and we thank Verizon for providing a, a new uh, trailer location for us. So um, we'll be putting out those notices. But just want to let you it's, let you know it's 415-659-6289 and 7743-7750. Uh, and so we'll be putting out uh, information on those numbers. But we know that you have a lot of questions as far as what's going on, and uh, we, want, we want to try and, and be available to answer your questions. So um, we're setting up some new, new lines, and we thank Verizon very much for helping with that. Um, this, the, as far as gas, the state has begun um, gas rationing on Saturday, even odd days for even odd the last number on license plates. Um, and the Hess on um, Boulevard East in Weehawken is open. And we are continuing to provide free shuttle service and will continuously run up and down Washington Street um, from 9 a.m. to 12 and then from 1 to 5. And uh, we, we are asking, well, we'll have to look and see who has power and who doesn't. And we received some requests to try and have a comfort station up uh, at the north end of Hoboken, but um, with the power going on, that we may not need that, so we'll take a look at that. Um, we continue to need donations, um, flashlights and batteries, baby formula, baby food, um, blankets, especially blankets. Um, you know, so we're, we're working, we're hoping, we'll be continuing through Twitter to put out the notices and update you as far as those generators um, getting installed. Which, you know, I'm hoping that those arrive, we get the teams here, we get them installed, we get the diesel we need, and that we've got these generators um, online tonight, but that's a lot to have. Um, happen, so in the meantime, we're trying to make sure to, uh, to get out and, and, and make sure to have enough blankets, especially to, to keep our seniors warm tonight, um, and continue to need, um, you know, welcome having a non-perishable food delivered to Hoboken High School at 8th and Clinton, and, uh, you know, have, I did try those, those MREs, and they actually, they're not bad, so, um, so we do have those, and we are distributing those, but, um, you know, I think, you know, people do love to have uh, the, the non-perishable goods as, as well. So, again, a huge thank you to all of the people who are standing behind me. I also want to put in a huge thank you to Stevens Institute of Technology. They have been amazing. Our special, if President Favarden could come down and, and join me, I want to just say a huge thank you to uh, Allison, who's been our our volunteer coordinator. She's done an amazing job. And I, I want to invite Bill Bryan, who's from the Department of Energy, to, uh, yeah, okay. So I'm going to invite, oh boy, you guys are putting me under pressure. <laughs>